for you! Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier. Fan, free stuff, shameless. Uh, and I've got a box here that I, once again, have no idea what's in it or where it came from exactly. It clearly came from Hong Kong, uh, which means I assume it's stuff that I'm being sent to review. Uh, the invoice says, uh, front tube cap, quantity 24, which doesn't seem right. So let's get this thing open and see what on earth I've been sent. I've been sent loads of stuff. Okay, we have... Oh! <laughs> I was just pondering this. We have a collapsible stock. One of the worker ones, I assume. Obviously. Came out of a worker box. Oh, I'm paying attention. Um, let's find something to put this on real quick. So depending on what order you're watching all these in, because I'm uploading them all at the same time, uh, you'll know that I just got an MP5 kit. And now, I have a collapsible stock for it. Should I prefer that? So, yeah. That thing is solid. Um, the arms are metal. It has this long tube, which I don't know is strictly necessary. Wouldn't do you any good. Uh, but it fits on the strife and goes down on either side. Of course, it means it's a little bit wider than um, it's probably strictly necessary for it to be, but it locks in place good and solid. Uh, lots of levels of adjustment um, from very long to relatively short. Um, not uh, you know as short as you usually see on an MP5. They go all the way to here, um, but that would be an issue with getting it to actually fit onto a strife. So. Uh, does still come down pretty short if you wanted it for a really close um, close quarter stuff. Uh, very solid, very pretty. Definitely like that. Uh, I've been sent a whole bunch of men gun darts. Uh, somebody asked me to do a review on them, so um, I, I hear that they work in the the heads are smaller than the foam, so they will work in the. Uh, a full breech blasters like the caliber and caliber doesn't much care for things like accu fakes uh, I have discovered but uh, these might just work what do we got here we have oh the um, magazine holder so this thing is designed to hold darts and a whole bunch of magazines. This one's got an aftermarket sleeve on it. Also, depending on what order you're watching these videos in, you may already know about that. That that makes it a little bit trickier to get out, I imagine, without that sleeve. But uh, then it rolls up and has this strap. Ah, man down. And you have this convenient ammo pouch. Uh, it's got just a oh, Velcro closed pouch here, so you can put whatever you wanted there. More magazines, you know, loose darts, rival rounds, whatever you wanted. Uh, another one of those pouches right here, so even more uh, random storage, vortex discs. These are obviously single dart holders, uh, as are these, which are available on the outside, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a messenger bag look, which is pretty cool for somebody who doesn't want to have you know, the full ridiculous tack loadout, uh, this would be a neat way to store a bunch of uh, additional magazines. Looks like it'll hold six... Yep, up to six 18-round magazines. Um, two large pouches uh, of whatever you want, as well as one smaller one and some dart holders. That is just... that is really cool. Uh, and the construction is, is very well done. It also has... Um, just a regular clip there for you to hook whatever you felt to via a carabiner or something. Uh, looks like they yeah, yeah, missed, messed up the stitch there just a little bit, but I could fix that if I really wanted to. Uh, solid material. It doesn't feel cheap. Uh, it's a good heavy canvas. That is... I, <laughs> I really like that. That is really cool. I will definitely probably use that 
in any uh, number of capacities. So yeah, that is super neat. What else do we have? More darts. We have a long shot kit of some kind. Oh, okay, this is the Orange Mod Works Unleashed Solid Kit 1. I ordered the Solid Kit 2, but uh, out of, um, Orange Mod Works didn't have the first kit. They only had the second kit. Um, so here is the first kit. Um, so now I will finally be able to build myself a, uh, a decent long shot. Not anything that would compete with my Caliburn, but I don't want something that can compete with my Caliburn. I want something in between stock and my Caliburn. My Caliburn on a K25 hits 192 FPS, and most of our games, uh, a lot of our games cap at 150. Um, so I need something that is between 100 and 150. So I'm hoping this kit will get me there, depending on what spring I put in it. I've got a couple of different springs now, so that is super cool. And last but not least, I believe what we have here, not what I was expecting. Um, I was expecting a pump action kit for uh, the long shot, but I don't think I've actually asked anyone for that because I was planning to not make it pump action. I had other plans. Um, this is an M203 grenade launcher. Oh boy. Interesting. So yeah, that's a grenade launcher. Attaches to Picatinny rail and uh, is pump action. I am gonna have to pop this thing open and see if it can be rebarreled. I would love it if I could rebarrel it to take at least four half darts. If I could rebarrel it for four half darts, I would consider that um, absolutely acceptable. Um, for uh, a shotgun. And cosmetically that is, of course, gorgeous. It's meant, of course, to fire um, water pellets, the same water pellets that the uh, the grenade and the uh, 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 claymore are designed to take. And you just load them in the top and then pump it a couple of times and load as many in as you want. I don't know how many it can take. Um, and it just fires. Looks like it just thumbs, it's got thumb screws to attach it to Picatinny rail, metal bolts, so that's not slouching, that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's pretty epic looking. Let's um, attach that to something. What do I have that's got lower Picatinny rail? I don't really have anything with a really long barrel that this isn't going to look kind of silly on, but... Yeah, that works. Definitely gonna need to build a blaster with a fairly long barrel. Um, got a couple of ideas, maybe. But uh, yeah, that's awful neat. Like I said, I will be busting this thing open and seeing what's in it and uh, if I can either upgrade it or at the very least rebarrel it. Uh, if I can get... Um, 30, 40 feet out of two half darts, um, I would consider that acceptable. Darts will fit and fire, so it'll currently take half darts. It'll take full length darts too, but uh, half darts would fit right in there and it would fire two at a time. Uh, like I said, I'd like to try possibly to bore it out to take four at a time. Maybe more, depending on how much power I can get in it. So that's going to be really cool. Again, something very realistic looking. It would have been nice if the uh, end cap had been orange, but... Oh, the end cap comes off, so it'd be easy to paint. And it looks like it'd be re it's going to be really simple to rebarrel. Um, yeah. Super simple to rebarrel because I can just, um, yeah, yeah. Okay, so 
the, the, really the question is, is <laughs> can it take a K-26? Uh, so that'll be an episode coming up probably immediately after this. So, um, look forward to men gun dart testing out of things like my Caliburn and uh, flywheel blasters and uh, Springer blasters. I've got about... Oh... Uh, probably 200 of them here. Yep, looks like they sent me 200, so... Um, I'll be testing the heck out of those. Um, I've heard good things about them. I've never heard a bad thing about them, so that's pretty neat. Um, yeah. Love the stock. Don't know what I'll put it on, but I'll put it on something. Love the magazine holder. The long shot kit's gonna be a fun build. I've never actually fully upgraded a, a, a long shot, so that's gonna be fun. Thank you so much, Lytake, for sending me all of this. I very much appreciate it. I will get the reviews up as soon as possible. Um, all of the links, of course, for all of the items will be in the description, uh, as always. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, requests, go ahead and put them in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching. Stop, stop.